Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. It's International Education Week here at Vancouver Island University, and there is lots going on. Some new moves for Mariners Athletics home games at VIU. Can Melanie make it as a sports reporter and searching for a scene, it would seem, on clock. That and more in the next 30 minutes. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. You can probably see the food behind us here today. And oh, you should smell it. I think we found the right room to host our program from today. There are 81 different countries represented by international students here at Vancouver Island University. We're going to talk to the Dean of International Studies about the important role that they play not only here on campus, but in the education of Canadian students and the entire community. That's coming up later today on Go Island. For our first story, we're actually sticking close to this very building here on the Vancouver Island University campus. The Mariner girls are a newly formed dance stunt cheer team that hope to bring a little pep and plenty of spirit to Mariners athletics games. Friday's home opener started with a bit of a brag from the current champions. Here's Jocelyn Matley. You can get a full schedule at GoMariners.ca for the upcoming games. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. Graham Pike is the Dean of International Education here at Vancouver Island University. There's lots of events taking place this week, a big culmination celebration taking place on Friday that we'll tell you more about later on. First of all, what's happening here now? Well, this is a, a lunch that's been put on by the Faculty of Social Sciences for all the international students who are taking social science courses. So this is one of many events during the week that individual faculties and departments put on for international students and to celebrate the cultural diversity that we have here at VIU. Now, there's a lot of Canadian students here in the room as well. And what role are they playing in the conversation and the learning that's taking place? One of the, uh, the things we try and do, uh, not only this week, but throughout the year, is to get Canadian and international students to mix and do things together. Um, because international students have a lot to teach us, uh, as well as coming here to learn themselves. So we're hoping that the Canadian students will learn from the exchange of, of ideas and, and uh, different perspectives on the world, uh, different ways of knowing and understanding the world. So is, is that really a key component in social sciences? Uh, and, and so crucial to this entire department then is having these students here. Absolutely it is. Uh, you know, we're, we're educating our students, both Canadian and international, to be global citizens. So this is, this is where it happens. This is where they learn about global citizenship. 81 different countries represented by students here. How significant is that number? It's huge. Uh, you know, it, we'd like to think we have a, a mini United Nations here on the campus, uh, and we have so much to learn from each other. Excellent. Thank you. We're going to highlight more features taking place in International Education Week later on this edition of Go Island, as well as talk to some of the students who study here in Nanaimo. We'll do all of that after a short break. Still to come today on Go Island, scoring a touchdown as a sports reporter and in search of the elusive scene in Nanaimo. That and more still to come today on Go. Did you know that the first ever couple to be shown in bed on primetime television was Fred and Wilma Flintstone from The Flintstone Show? Look how far we've come today on television. And did you also know that our very own Todd Jones is participating in Movember this year? Yes, he is. He's making some progress with his Mo, as you can see from this very recent photograph of our very own Todd Jones. He does need a little help in the fundraising department, and that mustache might show up a little more if it wasn't so gray. Yes, Todd, that's a bit of a dig. If you'd like to support Todd and get his... Uh, competing on par with what they're doing in Victoria for fundraising. You can visit Movember.ca and search the Shaw Vancouver Island team. Find Todd Jones and make your donation there. Every little bit helps and we only have until the end of the month to help Todd raise a whole lot of money and maybe look 
a little bit even funnier than he already does in the process. Enough from me. We're going to throw things over to Melanie Leitner in a new edition of Sprott Shaw Community College's Higher Learning. For years, Melanie has been a lifestyle reporter here on Shaw TV. This time, she is trying her hand as a sports reporter. Well, Melanie might not have a shot at being a sports reporter, but she might have a chance at being the quarterback for the BC Lions. Maybe not. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. It is Vancouver Island University International Education Week. We're right smack in the middle of it. We'll tell you about a great event that you can attend for free taking place on Friday. But first, who wouldn't want to interview these fine young gentlemen from Germany? Why did you choose to come and study here in Nanaimo? Uh, well, I think Vancouver Islands is a beautiful place to be, so I'm glad to be here. You can just be out in the nature, have a wonderful time here. All the people are lovely, very friendly, so that's the reason why I'm here. And I re don't regret it at all. I'm very pleased with that decision to come here to Nanaimo. And what, what are you studying? Um, I do several courses. I do um, political science, wine management, real estate, and geography here. Wow. Well, welcome. We're glad you're here. Why did you choose VIU and Nanaimo in particular? Um, I pretty much came here by accident. I'm very happy that I'm here. Um, <laughs> it's a great year. It's a great spirit. The students are very helpful with everything. Um, the care for us is very nice. And events like that just makes us uh, come together and it's very beautiful. Okay, and why, why not go to school at home? When where's home for you? Uh, we need to do that. So uh, it's a, it's a thing we need to do to get out of Germany, see different places and I've been in Canada for a year in high school so the place was clear and uh, Vancouver Island was uh, after a little research the place to be. Okay great and I'm gonna throw a bit of a different question out at you what can you tell me about the caliber and the level of the education that you're receiving here so far? So um, I think we, because we choose other courses here um, like in Germany so in Germany we study finance and economics and um, for us it's um, <clears throat> it's great to see other courses and so the education levels from the beginning classes are a little bit lower for us but uh, I think in, um, in finance or in wine management we choose as finance and management course um, yeah the, the level is pretty much the same okay. like in Germany excellent and what are you thinking of Nanaimo so yeah, far it's, it's a beautiful place um, like my other brother said so you have a great um, nature out there so you can do a lot of outdoor activities and yeah, yeah it's great okay and I'm gonna let them get back to lunch because I think it's our lunch time pretty quick here we'll be back with more on Go Island after a short break watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. It is International Education Week here at Vancouver Island University. We spoke to some fine young gentlemen from Germany, but we're going to talk to Sarah Lumley now, who is a third year geography student here. What is it that having international students around you does to enhance your own edu education? Um, I think it's, it's uh, gives us a broader outlook on the world. I mean, I haven't done a lot of traveling myself, um, and it certainly opens up a whole lot of possibilities. So mostly what I've gained from it is new friends. And I have been actually hanging out outside of school with a lot of the people that I've met. You, you did a project this morning, a mapping project. What was that? Uh, it was a community mapping project with one of the geography communications classes and two of the international ESL classes. And what we did was we kind of took the idea of community mapping and applied it to a global scale. So we took things from favorite places, legends. We were just learning about all these different cultures and pulling from everybody that was in the room. And you found that quite impactful. Yeah, we did it on Google Earth and it was really cool to do the visual. And then in the end, we all presented it together and everybody had a speaking part. So Thank you. Thanks. We're going to throw things over now to a couple of guys with their own big speaking parts, Todd Jones and Derek Johnston are out and about on another edition of Clocked. We're actually revisiting one that I won on for a change. Yeah, 
I won that one. Only one of three out of 15 episodes shot so far. I need some help. If you have an idea for a clock, send me an email, kate.bergen at sjrb.ca, or better yet, give me a phone call directly, 250-760-5093. That brings us to the end of this edition of Go Island. Before we go, a big celebration for Vancouver Island University's International Student Week, International Education Week, takes place here in the cafeteria at the VIU campus in Nanaimo from noon until 3 on Friday. Music, fashion shows, uh, information booths, huge energy, lots of color, a fantastic event. We were here last year. Highly recommend that you pop by, if you can, noon until 3 in the cafeteria here at Vancouver Island University on Friday. And uh, speaking with Graham, the Dean of International Education here at v Vancouver Island University, there are several uh, Filipino students here on campus and there is discussion going on now about how they might get involved and how they might be able to help with some resources and outreach where necessary. We're also in contact with the Multicultural Society here in Nanaimo. If we have any information to share with you, we will certainly do that throughout this week. Thanks for watching this edition of Go Island. We'll see you next time. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions. Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Matteo Salon.